<laughs> yeah, I'd say in about uh, about three minutes. <laughs> oh, good evening, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and honored guests. It's truly an honor to be here once again. And I, just before I speak, I just want to say <clears throat> it's so good to be back. I have been very, very busy, and my apologies for <laughs> being with many of you. But it's so good to be back, and I love you all, and so great to see so many guests. So my speech today is pressing on in tough times. Mm -hmm. Are you tired in this weary world? And do you feel alone? Or maybe you've been given a position of great challenge. Or maybe you were striving for a goal that you longed for, and it just seems like everything is falling apart. I want to encourage you today. Don't give but persevere and press on into the goal. There's a great song that was written by the Hollies, and it says this, don't give up, you're on the brink of a miracle. Don't give in, God is still on the throne. Don't give up, you're on the brink of a miracle. Don't give in, you're never alone. Why is it that so many people <coughs> When trials and circumstances come their way, they just feel like they just want to give up, commit suicide, struggle with drugs. So many people are overwhelmed in our world and feel like they're in deep defeat. But I believe that they can ameliorate and move forward as they take the first step and will live a life of victory. So how do you and I persevere in life? How do you and I and others move forward so that we don't have a give up mindset? Well, firstly, I want to share a few points. Number one, meaning you've got to have faith. George Michael said it the best, you've got to have faith. <laughs> and so what is faith anyway? Well, faith is the substance of things hoped for. And it's the evidence of things unseen. <coughs> what does that mean? It means that in the midst of your circumstance, in the midst of your trial, in the midst of the deepest difficulty, you can almost sense the solution of your circumstance. <coughs> you can see that solution before it even happens. Why do I say this? Well, maybe some people believe in the higher power. He who the one who can bring peace and positive change in your circumstance. My grandfather has a saying that he says to me, and it says this, feed your faith and doubts will starve. The next point I want to share with you is, yes, you need to find faith, but secondly, persevere and re persist in the goal plan. It is important that we persist in the goal plan. Have you ever experienced a time when you've been you know, working towards a goal and all of a sudden it seems like one individual or a group of people just seem to like get in your way? Have you caught yourself in a situation where it's like, yeah, maybe I agree with them. Maybe they're right. Maybe I shouldn't do this or that. <coughs> or have you caught yourself saying, no way. I'm standing in, I'm standing firm, and I'm not giving up, but I'm moving forward. I want to share a story with you about a lady, a historical lady, that was written many years ago, and her name is Esther. Her Jewish name is Hadassah, and Esther was a woman who was appointed queen, <coughs> and she was appointed queen over Persia. And interesting <coughs> enough, Esther was appointed queen, but her king ended up appointing an evil man named Haman, who wanted to annihilate all the Jewish people all among the, the land. And it ended up that this annihilation grieved Esther. But Esther had a goal plan. And that goal plan was to plead with her king to find a way that could reverse the edict that was against her people. And so Esther challenged her king. Imagine challenging a king. And within the 30-day plan, before the 30-day plan, as a matter of fact, she approached her king, which was very risky because it could have cost her, her her life. 
because nobody could enter the king's palace without being invited. And Esther took that chance. And she put on her royal robes and she went forth to the king and pleaded before him to see her people saved. She persevered in the goal plan, no matter the cost. How about you? Are you willing to persevere? Are you willing to move forward in spite of the cost? So lastly, how do we persevere in tough times? You stay focused. Oftentimes when we're unfocused, we, we're all over the place. We're scattered, and often we feel like we want to give up. <clears throat> but I want to encourage you, when you are moving forward into that goal plan, it's important, like the runner, like the runner, <laughs> you need to keep your eye on the finish line. And as a runner perseveres, he sees that finish line, and he makes it to the very end, and he knows that he is focused on the race. And so in this, in conclusion, I close and I say, the next time you're going through trouble, the next time you're going through difficulty, are you willing to persevere? Are you willing to find faith? And are you focused? Because that will get you through the tough times. In closing, I say, do not give up, but press on in tough times. Thank you so much. It was to represent the finish line.